The weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, March 22nd. We are now into spring. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Of course, it did uh, snow flurry a lot of Wednesday, so it didn't feel like spring, but we get snow all the way up to the first week of June sometimes. So, yeah, snow's still around. We have first quarter moon that'll look beautiful in the evening. Uh, next week, Tuesday, March 28th. Big sunspots are coming back around towards Earth again, so it'll be another active geomagnetic uh, week or two. And I thought I'd go way back in time to November 25th, 2020. This is the peak of our drought uh, conditions. And if you compare that to last week, or actually two weeks ago, because I took spring break, and this week, it's amazing. Just totally erased the drought. Um, still stuff is dry out on the plains, we definitely need some more precipitation out there. Looking nationally, I don't have the old national map, I've only kept the Colorado ones. Uh, things are getting still better and better in the west. The Great Plains definitely need some help, but springtime rains can uh, could still be on the way. All right, let's take a look at the animation for snowpack. <clears throat> Even if it's not been doing much on the eastern half of the state, a lot of snow has been falling on the western slopes. So look at that jump upward. 136% um, uh, snowpack. Now we're, we're about to enter that uh, pretty rare purple zone um, for amount of snow. Um, I th think I heard some place in southwestern Colorado is 230% snowpack. So fantastic amounts of water. You can see how much water fell. Look up. That was two to locally five inches or more of liquid equivalent. Yeah, it's dry in the east, but someday that'll change. Uh, looking at severe weather for Wednesday, just a chance of uh, convection over the northern part of the state. Nothing on Thursday, but severe down in Texas, Oklahoma. And then we have another springtime bout of severe weather in uh, Arkansas. Louisiana, Mississippi. Looking nationally, we had the snow flurries yesterday. They'll be confined to the northern mountains as the cool front kind of drew us down. And then on Friday, we have more coming into the west. Heavy rains and flooding possible in California. It's amazing, just storm after storm out there. A little bit of snow, snow smoke in the uh, U.S. southeast. And this is the ensemble map. I think something's wrong with the uh, GFS Ensemble. I actually went back a couple runs to get something kind of reasonable, but it was very cold for a whole 10 days, being really below normal. And that seems to be too much precipitation down here. Um, so I'll show this at least to say that our normal highs are going from 56 to 58. Normal lows, 28 to 30, are getting ever closer to uh, having a normal low temperature that's above freezing. Plenty of moisture coming out of the uh, Pacific, up across the area south of us, another trough here in the west. And for notable future weather, we're going to have this general trough in the west with little ripples coming through. There's a couple of lows right there. And ridge in the east. And that, that's going to kind of be it. It's the big story. So we have some snow here Saturday morning. General trough with little ripples on Monday, a shot of snow, maybe rain. And then Thursday, very strong uh, trough coming in and pretty heavy batch of snow. We have seen this week after week that a month, week out, it says big storm, and big storm has rarely happened. So I will keep that uh, low probability, but we'll see. <clears throat> so let's put it in motion and watch this trough kind of. The overall troughiness day out here in the west things are traveling through ripples are coming through and kicking off rain snow uh, yeah there's a bit of a ridging there on tuesday to wednesday the ridge travels across and another big trough replaces it digging down to the southwest and crossing our state by the end of next week and fall right on its heels is another one so because that trough is out there, we're going to see the west staying generally cool all the way through the end of the month. Um, I just don't think it's as cold as those ensembles were, but there's some cold air right there. Uh, 
cold front coming down over the weekend. So we're going to have a cold and kind of wet weekend. This is different than most of our weekends where we've had the good weather then. There's Tuesday, and then we have a warm-up as that ridge goes over for Wednesday. And then the next trough brings in more cold air and a pretty strong cold front. We've got that is some cold air Thursday and Friday next week. So even if we do not get snow, we could get some pretty cold air. Let's see these precipitation patterns over the same period. There's our severe weather in the south. And there's our snow for Saturday. Maybe rain. So it happens later in the day. It will be a daytime storm. There's another one for Monday. Um, so not much snow is going to stick around on any surface except maybe grass, bridges, or something like that. There's the big storm digging in to the west Thursday. And then, yeah, look at that. For at least a 12 to 18 hour period, that's some good precipitation, followed by some rain next weekend. So looking at the next five days, we might get a half inch worth of liquid, quarter inch to a half inch. And snow in the mountains, a foot or more, and some higher spots there. And that's what, two inches along I-25, maybe three. Over the next 10 days, still so much moisture from the western slopes. Finally, some moisture out here and lots of snow coming down into the Palmer Divide and the Front Range Mountains themselves. They are kind of alternating between 40s and 50s for the next few days. Weekend is going to be cooler, chance of showers, and we climb back up to the 50s by Tuesday. And just one more look. This is, this is not a repeat map. This is a new map showing the next 10 days of snow and look at the mountains in the west. We got 38, 70 inches, 56 inches. I don't think that's 93. Kind of looks like it. 38, 32, 50 inches, 22 inches of new snow. So an amazing snowpack. I'm just going to be interested to hear the, the story of what all actually piled up out there. Let's see. Winter is over. So check out Longmont Leader, Broomfield Leader for frequent weather updates and local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Happy spring. Keep looking up.